right, we are deep in antenna land here with Brian from Isotropic. Um, hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Thanks for having us in your uh, cool room here. Yeah, thanks um, for on. What are we looking at right here? So this is, uh, we're developing an isotropic, which we're doing terminals. Um, so if you look at kind of all the amazing stuff that's going on on the satellite side and the operator side, mm -hmm. there's an incredible amount of capacity and features that they're putting on the satellites. But really, the bottleneck has always been on the terminal side. And that's even more true with some of the newer satellites that are coming online in the newer orbits, like LEO and MEO. And that's even more especially true for aero platforms because they're restricted by what can fit in the radome, both in terms of size and power. Um, so we've taken a completely new approach to solving this terminal challenge by using optical beamformers, it's kind of like RF lenses is what it is. Um, and what that does is it allows you to unlock all of those features and capacities that they're launching on the satellite side while also being able to fit within radomes, for example, on an air, air frame. Okay, so this thing can switch like crazy. Yes, that's right. So not only can it switch between different satellites, meaning that you can uh, make sure that you're not dropping out your connection at all. So let's say as the airplane is banking or something, um, you can jump between any satellite that's out there. So LEO, MEO, or GEO, essentially connect to anything in the sky. Um, that's at any frequency, any polarization, um, including the terminal also offers multiple simultaneous beams. So even if you have one connection, what you can be doing with that additional beam is doing some sky mapping and seeing everything else that's out there. Okay. So as soon, in, as soon as something happens, like you get out of range of a satellite or the plane starts, starts banking, you know immediately which next satellite you can switch to and, and keep your connection going. Okay. But on top of that, we're offering much wider bandwidth out of the terminal. Mm -hmm. um, and so that means that we're gonna be providing a lot more throughput to all of the users within the airplane. Okay, now in terms of working with commercial airlines, you guys mm -hmm. made an announcement this week that you're gonna be licensing some of the tech out to integrators? Yes, that's right. So we wanna be putting all of our resources into making the best uh, terminal and antenna possible, mm -hmm. right? And so what we wanna do is leverage all the expertise and experience of these integrators. Right. And so what we're gonna be doing is licensing our beam forming technology to them so that they could go and take it and integrate it as their next generation roadmap into lots of different platforms. Yeah, not a bad plan. Yeah. Not right. a bad plan. Okay, and then um, Paul was just saying, Paul is back mm -hmm. there, was mm -hmm. just saying that um, at some point you may be able to just sort of embed this almost right into the skin of the aircraft so yeah. that even a hump like this is not going to be a thing potentially. That's right. So there's two things we can do there. Um, basically, it doesn't have to be a flat antenna. It can be conformed to any specific shape. So if you had an existing radome like this, mm. um, we can actually conform to the inside of that radome. And okay. what that means is you're getting the maximum fill efficiency. You're, you're putting as much antenna as you can within that space mm -hmm. compared to kind of like a smaller flat antenna. Mm -hmm. And that's going to give you much better performance. Um, also much better scan performance where you're trying to reach satellites far out at scan. Um, but then the next step for that is, that's just to fit an existing radome, but that means the radome doesn't have to be that high. So if you had a, a composite airframe, for example, or if you had a lower uh, radome, we can conform to either of those shapes as well. Okay, and then there's, you know, there seems to be quite a lot of competition these days in this space. There's mm -hmm. a lot of announcements just at the show from yeah, uh, antenna absolutely. makers. So what do you think positions uh, you guys well to stand out? Right. Well, we took the approach a little bit differently, right? It wasn't that we had a technology and we tried to apply it to a specific market. We started with, we, you know, we knew it was coming down, down the pipe with satellites. We knew the challenges in the terminal, and then we went out and tried to find a technology that solved it, right? So we found a technology that essentially gives you everything you need to unlock the MEO, GEO, uh, and LEO satellites. That's extreme scan performance, it's extreme bandwidth, it's multiple simultaneous beams. It's all the things to unleash all of that potential capacity.